it's the first week of school and your teacher starts going over the properties of equality like reflexive transitive substitution and you're probably asking yourself what does this have to do with math well i'm wondering the same thing but let's do it anyway so our first property of equality is the reflexive property and the reflexive property is so obvious that it can be confusing reflexive says a equals a so in other words if you have the number seven the reflexive property tells you that it is equal to seven i didn't know this needed a name but it does it's called the reflexive property so if you ever see something equal to itself it's the reflexive property is the name for the rule that says you can do that next property of equality is the symmetric property which is almost as obvious as the reflexive one it says that if a equals b then b equals a so for example let's say that we have x equals 7. well the symmetric property tells us that we can also write this as 7 equals x it doesn't matter which side of the equal sign each one is on, it's just saying that they're equal. So in this case, both of these equations are correct. So now we get into the less obvious ones, which are transitive and substitution. So transitive basically says that if A equals B and B equals C, then A equals C. So if the first thing and the second thing are equal, and the second thing and the third thing are equal, then the first and the third thing must be the same, right? For example, let's say that we know that five is equal to x. So we know that five and x are the same. We also know that x and y are the same. x and y are equal, x equals y. In that case, we can combine these two statements and say that five is the same as y because five and x are the same, x and y are the same, so five and y must be the same. We're connecting the two equations together. And finally, we have the substitution property of equality. This basically says that if you have a and b and they're equal, then in any equation, a and b can replace each other because they're the same. So for example, let's say that we know that x and five are equal to each other. And then let's say we had some sort of complicated equation like x squared minus y cubed equals 4z. The equation is not important, but basically what the substitution property says is that we can replace x with 5 and 5 with x. So if we replaced x with 5 in this equation, we now have 5 squared minus y cubed equals 4 times z. These two equations right here are the same because we, you can replace x with 5 and 5 with x. So let's look at our first example of putting this to use. We're going to identify in each of these problems what property of equality we're dealing with. So here's the first one. I want you to think about those four different properties of equalities we talked about and come up with which one you think this represents. So go ahead and pause the video and try it yourself. All right, so 12 equals 12. And again, this should remind you of the very obvious one at the beginning, which says that A equals A. And that was called the reflexive property, which says that A equals A. That seems to fit this. 12 equals 12, A equals A. You know, they're, they're the same thing, right? So this is dealing with the reflexive property. Here's another example that I'd like you to pause the video and try it yourself. And I'll warn you, it is a little tricky. So this is a more complicated one, so it's probably going to be one of the last two, which were transitive and substitution. And if you remember the transitive property, it said that if A equals B and B equals C, then A has to equal C. So does that fit this equation? Well, let's see. We have A minus 3 equals B, and we have B equals 8. We have our first thing, A minus 3, equaling our second thing, B. And the second thing, b, equals the third thing, 8. So in that case, we should be able to say that a minus 3 equals 8, because they're the same. And that fits this problem. So therefore, it's the transitive property, except that a lot of you might have said, 
substitution. And this is where I start having problems with textbooks. You see, your textbook probably had a problem very similar to this, and it said, oh, it's the transitive property. But you might have also noticed, well, well, hey, we have a minus 3 equals b, and b is equal to 8, so they just replaced b with 8. And it works. Yeah, and it represents two different properties of equality. So substitution would also be correct. And if you did something like this and your teacher marked you off for it, I would explain this to your teacher because this does represent two different properties of equality. Here's another example. Go ahead and pause the video and try this. So we see here if 2x plus y equals 5 and y equals 7, then 2x plus 7 equals 5. This is going to be another one of those complicated ones, so we're going to probably pick from the last two, transitive and substitution. And if you look at it closely, you'll notice that the transitive property doesn't actually work here. We have 2x plus y equals 5, so 2x plus y is our first thing, and 5 is our second thing. But then our second equation, y equals 7. Well, yeah, 7 is our third thing or whatever, but y, that's a part of our first thing. So that's not really going to work with that specific formula. Instead, let's go ahead and look at the substitution property. The substitution property says that if we have two things equal to each other, then they can replace each other in equations. And if you see here, 2x plus 7 equals 5, what's the difference between this first equation and this new equation? Well, all we've done is we've replaced y with 7, and our second equation says that y equals 7. So what we've done is we've substituted y with 7. So therefore, we have the substitution property in this equation. Just the substitution property, nothing else. There's no tricks here. So that's it for our properties of equality. And so as always, if you have any questions, you can leave it in the comments. And if you're ready to start actually doing real math, you can start that with this video right here. Thanks for watching.